Right, okay. This is quite a nasty question. And um, it does give us the answer here. So we know what we're aiming for. We've got to show this horrible mess is just the same as we need to be. So this is clearly a search question. So there's lots of ways of, there are several, several ways of doing it, but there is one quick way. Again, it's a, a spot. You've got to spot what to do here. So you see you've got this nasty fraction within a fraction. So we want to try and get rid of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to times the top and the bottom of the fraction by root 3. So I'm going to times 4 by root 3. I'm going to times root 3 by root 3. And I'm going to times this part by root 3. So I'm not changing the value of the fraction. I'm just times the top and bottom by the same thing, times by root 3 over 3, or just times everything on the top by the same thing from the bottom. It's just going to make my life a little bit easier. So spotting that, the numerator becomes 4 root 3, and the denominator becomes root 3 over root 3, which is just 1, and root 3 squared, or root 3 times root 3, is just going to be 3. So that gives me 4 root 3 all over 4, which you can see the 4s are going to cancel, just like the root 3s cancel here. Yes, with root 3. <coughs> Excuse me. So there are some more complicated ways of doing it, but that seems to be the easiest thing to do. So I just multiplied the top of the fraction by root 3 and the bottom of the fraction by root 3. So both pieces by root 3, which made my life a lot easier.